Well, this is a story ballad in the old tradition, and it was inspired by a number of things. One thing, Dave Carter used to write shape-shifting songs, and there's a lot of old ballads that I've learned from Phil that deal with that topic, too. And the main inspiration was the movie Cold Mountain, in which there's a minor character. She's an elder woman living way the heck out in the woods, away from everything else, and she picks up the young Yankee soldier and saves him from dying and nurses him back to health. And she's only in the movie for maybe 10 minutes. And I always wondered, what was this woman's story? How did she end up out there? And the second part of the main inspiration for this was an episode of one of our favorite TV shows, Northern Exposure, in which there was an episode where the young protagonist, Maggie, has a brief fling with a very handsome man who can turn into a bear. In Celtic countries, uh, shape-shifting is mostly like seal people, but in Native American legends, it's bears in this country. And in Asia, it's tigers. In Africa, it'd be leopards or lions. Called Ursa. Interesting thing is we played the Coffeeville Humanities program where you play like 15 nursing homes and elder centers in a week. And I was just amazed how much this connected with those folks. And they'd never heard it before. And it's long. It takes an attention span. I was the daughter of a wild mountain man mated with my mama. Ordered kept himself a son. He stole me from her. Stood waiting in that autumn forest on 
you go nowhere. Daughter of the half-breed human offspring of a bear. The bear looked at me, and he rose on his hind legs, and a man appeared there. On dark hair all glistening, he said, Granddaughter, come away and roll with me now. We will search the winter time away and frolic in the spring. I looked down at my body, it was covered with thick fur. I followed my grandfather as he stalked into the night. And to this day the hunters talk about the two great bears who vanish into nothing when they fix them in their sights. And we go laughing through that little bright forest, roaming everywhere. Immortal son and daughter of the spirit of the bear. Thank you.